about the relation between electronic media and violent content, there are a lot of discussions available in the internet. Let's take the age of video games, for instance. We can think about video games in many ways. Social practice, mass media and culture, technology, innovation, and so on. But above all things, they clearly figure as a mean of entertainment. And it's perhaps going a little too far, assuming that they are the cause of aggressive behavior in young kids. Adults usually think that, but seriously, that's a little juvenile. Video games came up in the 70s with a poor visual performance, according to Christopher J. Ferguson, a social psychologist whose field of study is violent behavior in multivariate backgrounds. Video games are no threat in his particular understand. Yes, violence is surely a common theme. However, pixelation was precarious back then. Therefore, all it could represent was machine-on-machine -machine violence. Notoriously, violence appeal increased as soon as the devices got better resolutions, beginning to characterize human beings more realistically, somewhere around 1990. Players now could not only take control of their characters, but also take on their part in a complex narrative. At outstanding levels of graphicness, they also keep improving from a technological perspective. Nevertheless, video games have little to do with schizophrenia, demon pacts, brutality against a fellow brother, hackers conspiracy, terrorist plots, South American uprising against capitalism, or anything of that sort. Mm. Huh. Of course, we can't blame an electronic game for a system that allows any dumb fucking kid who gets in touch with have artillery so easily. Like the Kalium Wine episode, when two boys screwed up the school real bad. We shouldn't put the blame on the Slayer either. Those guys are just twisted freaking fucking artists. When the Columbine massacre happened, Eric Harris and Dylan Clubbolt argued that they were huge fans of that old computer game named Doom. In today's view, this game is clumsy. The movie sucks, by the way. Throughout 1998 Since this incident, and early 99, government regulations started to spring from students, anywhere, leading Eric game Harris makers to be kind of frustrated. Yeah. But truth be told, there were no reason for that because statistics show nothing concrete to support Everybody that youth violence goes over the roof due to brutal injuries so and blood spilling games and things. In fact, the coefficient for this relationship uh, is something like 0.95, whatever the hell that means. Maybe we should just acknowledge that the result goes below zero. It's too low. It's an unsustainable hypothesis. Moreover, any chosen criteria would be subjective to determine violence degree acceptable to the family room. Consequently, the discussion may take a path towards forgetfulness someday. For other media, as television, internet, movies and music, include violence and sexual content as well. At the end, it shouldn't be a paradox or a controversy at all given to the lack of casual evidence that video games and conjecture contribute to violence behavior in disability in a larger sociological sense. This content simply take part in a digital fiction, such as in literature, theater plays, or in a Quentin Tarantino's movie. What's going on? You hear that? <laughs>